Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and this time around I also want to do something fun again. We're going to take an everyday object like a paprika object or a sock object or a pen object and we're just going to try and transform it into something interesting like a spaceship. So let's jump right into it. All right, let me start this video by saying that uh, my hair will hang into the video a couple of times. This is a new setup and I was trying out new things for, so please, sorry for that. The other thing is, I am doing this a little bit off the cuffs, no script. I'm just gonna talk what I'm thinking here because you mostly see what I'm doing, but I think it's interesting for you to also have a little bit of insight into my brain. So basically when I saw this shape, I thought, oh, that's that's quite interesting, could, could work for a spaceship actually quite well. And it's, it's also, it's not about it has to work for a spaceship, you're supposed to be able to transform everything into a spaceship. but. I really liked the rectangular legs of the candelabra that were going around it. I thought, okay, that that would need some sort of solution. Like, what, what can I come up with? And this, this is why I like these sort of challenges, because in your mind, you sort of build, build a whole world. So my idea for that was like, uh, it's some sort of rig that creates an anti-gravity, well, not an anti-gravity field, but sort of a suspended gravity field where you can have all sorts of uh, cargo, uh, well, not boxes, but containers. And then the idea would be that you have uh, the spaceship, basically something s almost similar to what we have now uh, around rocket, but then you tag this uh, anti-gravity field generating thing around it. And that way you can haul more cargo around the universe. Obviously it's, it's, it's a little bit forced because it's not, not what industrial design preaches that shape follows or form follows function. In this case, I try to put a function onto a form and that's, that's what we do with these drawings. But uh, hey, I, it's, it's, in the end, it's really fun for me and it's, it's really fun for you as well if, if you ever want to just see where, where your mind goes and what sort of uh, interesting things you come up with. And then as, as, as you're building this object, it's also nice to see, okay, so how am I going to draw this? This, this somewhere you can see me uh, drawing the, uh, <clears throat> the anti-gravity field generators. It's not a generator, I just added a couple of dots. So you can see, okay, so this, this is where I would hook in those uh, containers. And then I went to the front of the spaceship and I saw that I had no life, uh, I don't want to say life support, but it's nice to have some gravity on these ships. And while I guess you could have some uh, uh, trust gravity, I still wanted to add uh, centrifugal gravity to this one where people could maybe train, run around, do some stuff like that. And then, yeah, I was just uh, jumping back and forth between how I should be hanging, how many should be there. And I thought, it seemed to be quite a limited use of the anti-gravity field if I would just leave it within that uh, rectangular structure that I had there. So I said, okay, what if this rectangular structure actually creates this field and it pulls it behind it? So you could hang quite a couple of uh, these containers behind it. I only, I only hung a couple there, but I would say like, it would be cool if you could have almost like a train of containers, like 10 behind it and you just just have then the small rocket or, or engine in the front of it. So I did a couple of examples of that. Um, yeah, and then, then after that, I basically started just a little bit of detailing, uh, section lines, stuff like that. Obviously a huge inspiration is uh, Space Goose from uh, Instagram. He's just an amazing artist and he comes up with, uh, with fantastic uh, spaceships out of everyday ob objects, kitchen objects, and I'm tremendously envious of him. So please make sure to go and uh, check him out. I'm gonna leave a link in the doobly-doo box below. I guess it's just about the creative exercise that, you, that you're forcing yourself upon. And even though I, I showed in the beginning like all sorts of ridiculous objects, I would say, yeah, I, I, I should myself and you guys should also try out something like a paprika or a pen. Even though a pen can be used quite easily, but go also for organic stuff. Especially as industrial designers, we draw organic stuff quite quite rarely. So 
maybe next time instead of going for the easy solution i should also go for uh, for more organic like like the paprika that i showed you guys uh, anyways uh, I don't have much else to say here. I hope you guys don't mind a little bit this off-the-cuff sort of uh, audio recording. I would also wanted to ask you if, if, if uh, you would be interested in giving some feedback what sort of content you want to see more on this channel. Because uh, I don't just want to do tutorials. I mean, I I'll gladly do them and I gladly help people. But uh, I want to do some more interaction with you, you, you guys. It's, it's really fun to interact with the community, especially on, on, on small projects like this. So yeah, it, it would be nice if you can leave some comments what, what you would like to see more on this channel. Uh, anyway, stick around towards the end because there will be also a, just a quick digital version. I, I try to just add a couple of splashes of colors and effects to it because it's, it's sort of hard to add the, um, uh, the exhaust plume, I think it's called. Uh, traditionally, so I quickly put it into Photoshop and just added an, a nice bluish uh, exhaust bloom to it. But anyways, this is uh, all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you would like to see more uh, content like this. For uh, regular uh, drawing related updates, you can go to my Instagram and follow me there as well. But I hope you are having a great week and see you folks next time. Bye bye.